Hello, welcome again. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to texturize images. Whenever you're making a picture, whatever it's going to be, backgrounds, characters, doesn't matter. Um, simply coloring your picture, it's not going to get as realistic as you would be able to get it if you texturized it. Um, you can draw this yourself. It, it's a lot more time consuming and if you're good, it may look a lot better. But using a texture, typically if it's a photograph, is going to save you some time and it's going to make you appear to be a better artist than you actually are, like myself. Um, okay, so I went to uh, UGO online, made a uh, character with it. I'll have the link in the description. Um, it's a random hero generator. You can make your own or you can just hit random. I actually made this guy. So what I'm going to do is... I'm, I'm, he's he's basically colored. There's no shading or anything, but I'm going to add a texture, and I left it this way so you can kind of see the texture a little better. Okay, so I've got all my layers set up with the flat colors on there, and I'm going to texturize the top half of his body just to show you up close. Um, what you'll do is you'll you can, you can go to Google, you can search for you know rock textures, wood textures, metal texture, anything. Um, and, and get a get a pretty good sized picture. I've got this one here of a cave, and uh, it's in color. Doesn't matter if it's in black or white in color. Preferably, you want black or white. You don't want color usually, unless it's matching the color of the thing you're texturizing. Like wood, if it's brown, and you have a brown wood texture, that's cool. So uh, there's several ways to actually get it into your image. You could hit Control A to select the entire canvas, or if you go up here to select. And it'll say all and show you the shortcut, control A. Then you'll have to hit control C to copy it, which is under edit, copy, control C. It's typical Windows um, shortcuts. So once you've copied it, you can actually select over you to your picture. And before you press control V to paste it, you're going to need to choose the layer that you're going to want it on. It doesn't really matter. Usually you can actually, you don't have to make a new layer, you can just press Control V and it'll make a layer above the one you're on, already on with the texture you, you've got. Another way to do it is, let me delete this, you can actually use the Move tool. If you go up here and select the Move tool, you can press V on your keyboard to, as that's the shortcut, uh, and you can click and drag your image the texture right right on top of your other picture and that that's all it is you just click to move it it won't move while you're actually just it's just the background on the open image but if you move it to your the one you're coloring you know it'll copy it over it's a lot simpler okay so once you got your texture you can you might want to keep it open in case you need to use it more than once because as you can see I've got a huge texture here it takes up almost the entire character probably does if I'd move it down let's see so yes from head to toe pretty much you can see it takes up almost the entire character oh yeah actually it does uh, if you're going for a full body texture like this you can leave it like that um, but you notice that if you get close things are kinda of blurry and big uh, these big divots won't look too good because they're so huge. So resizing it is often the best thing to do. And you could either resize by pressing Control T on the keyboard, or you can go to Edit, Free Transform. It shows you Control T right there. And it'll bring up a border around the thing that you're currently transforming. I'm on this, it says layer one, but that's the actual texture. You can kind of see that brown square right there. Um, and it gives you nodes on the corner of your image and on the on the sides too. These little squares here, I don't know if you can see it, I'd have to zoom in pretty close. I mean they stay the same size, but these little squares are I mean you can grab anywheres, but they're pretty much handles that you can use to grab and resize the image to however you see fit. You can you can squish it up like that. You can grab a corner and do the whole thing, however you like. 
Um, but to resize it uniformly, you can actually go up here to this little dock, and you see like W, it gives you a percentage, and then H for a percentage, and that's width and height. So you can enter, let's say we'll go 25%. Now what happened is, it only did the height. So what you can actually do is hit this little link icon, and that will actually link the width and the height together. You only have to enter it once. You don't have to actually go to width, enter 25, go to height, enter 25. You just do it one time, hit that link, you're good to go. Okay, so once you've got it set to the right scale, you can hit enter on the keyboard so to accept it, or you can go up here and hit the check mark. If you don't want it, you can press escape or press this button, and it will cancel. All right, anyways, uh, if you've done the coloring tutorial, you're familiar with having the ink layer, where it's just your ink on a layer by itself. It's good for making selections, and that's what we're going to do here. Select your wand tool by pressing the W key on your keyboard, or you can go up here to your wand. Click that, and click anywhere outside of your character. And that selects the background of your character pretty much. Um, and then you're going to go to your texture, which I forgot to name. This is your texture layer here. Uh, select it, make sure it's highlighted. And then press Control X on the keyboard, which is the shortcut for cut, or you can go to edit and cut. Now that cuts everything around that selection. It makes the texture match the shape of your character. So that's pretty decent so far. But uh, say you don't want the sword to be textured. You can erase it by hand if you like. You press E on the keyboard for the erase, the eraser shortcut. You can erase it. Or when, when you are selecting, instead of selecting outside of the body, you can select just the areas you want to keep. Say if I only wanted, like, I only want his body to be textured. I don't want this stuff to be textured. So I can select that with the wand. And then I can go back to my texture layer and cut, and it cuts it out. Um, so the next thing you want to do on your texture layer is change the blending mode. Blending modes are very useful. I can't ex stress that enough. It makes things very pretty. <laughs> um, experiment with these a lot on different pictures. Uh, different tutorials I'm going to show you have different uses for them. So up here you'll see the word normal right on the, under the layers tab. If you click on it you get a bunch of different blending modes. These change the way that layers blend with the layers beneath them. So if you've got just one layer and you change the blending mode nothing's gonna happen. You gotta have layers underneath it. It kind of messes with the colors, makes them work with the colors beneath layers differently. So the one that we want to choose is overlay. Now what that does is it takes the white of that texture layer here and makes it more transparent so that only the darker colors tend to show through. Uh, soft light is a little less extreme but the, you can use either one whichever one you think looks better. And You can actually just go up and down through the list and see like the different ways that each blending mode works but if you're just gonna go for textures either overlay or soft light Okay, so we got the guy textured up pretty much. You can see now he looks like he's made of rock or whatever. Uh, but it, he's supposed to be gray and the texture is brown. Remember I talked about having it be black and white? Well, you can do that quite easily. You just have your texture layer selected. You can press Shift, Control, and U. And that will desaturate your image, making it black and white. Just on the layer that you're on, though. Another way to do that is to go to Image adjustments and desaturate so that's what that's for now you have your texture the guy looks like he's made out of rock and having shading already on it it, it just makes it stand out a lot more looks a lot better so it's kind of things that you can play around with and uh, use to make your image look better but as you can see this this will look a lot better than if you tried to just shade it and he wouldn't be just smooth he, he would have some roughness to it.